awesome camera. Awesome camera. And uh, it's actually really easy setup. And it's truly wireless. It's 5 volt powered, uh, but it does come with a little adapter, a wall adapter for it to be plugged into a standard socket. But it is 5 volt powered. In fact, I have it running through a 2.4 amp port. Uh, if you do run it through a USB power source, be it a external power bank or a USB hub like that, it needs to be at least a 2 amp port. That's what the this supplies is actually 2 amp. But outstanding overall, it really is. Now, when it first set up, just to give you a heads up, when you first plug it in, it does its whole little boot sequence and pans around and begins beeping at you. That beeping is letting you know it's waiting for Wi-Fi connection. And it will end in probably about, I guess, five minutes. Oh, what happens when I first plugged it in before I did anything else? I pulled it out of the box, plugged it in, it did its little woo, beep, beep, beep. And then I, oh, at the same time, I was downloading the app on my Samsung S6. I also checked it out on my iPhone 4 running 7.1. It was compatible. It is available on the App Store. But it was my Samsung S6 that I ended up downloading it on. But it, it, it is available on the App Store for 7.1. And of course, the newer uh, 9.0 iOS. Download. So, but while I was downloading it, it was still beeping. Finally, I you know I registered an account uh, via email. Very simple. It was like that. Uh, and then I add camera. I lock when they finally logged in. I add camera. Uh, asked me if I want. I would set it up via pure Wi-Fi. No, you don't need to do Ethernet cord or anything. Pure Wi-Fi. Asked me for my local Wi-Fi. Uh, passcode and as I was typing it in right before I hit next right before I finally finished it stopped beeping I was like uh oh and that at pretty much the same time that I realized it stopped beating, beeping I had already hit next basically that beeping when it stopped means it's now it's just kind of sitting there doing nothing uh, <laughs> in other words don't plug it in until you're actually ready to connect it to Wi-Fi. It was a simple matter, though. All I did was I ended up just hitting the back key on my phone, uh, going back to, and you know re-plugging in my Sentry Link passcode, and then before hitting next, I plugged it back in. It started doing its little movement thing and beeping, and then I just hit next, and while wow, it connected like that. So, I, so that's just to let you know, though. Don't plug it in until you're actually ready to connect it via Wi-Fi. Uh, and uh, next thing, uh, I'll go ahead and since I'm right here on the screen, it does actually save if you decide to take video or anything like that. I don't have. It has a micro SD card slot there for local saving for local recording. I don't actually have one in there, but it does support up apparently to 128 gigabytes, which is actually phenomenal. Uh, but if you take pictures, what have you, and I'm assuming without an SD card in there, it does actually save it locally. There it is. This is the picture I took right there on my phone. And it, frankly, personally, I actually prefer this. I prefer having it saved locally on my phone, even though with the Samsung S6, it doesn't actually have additional memory. So I, you'd have to, if you have an S6 that doesn't have an SD card slot, uh, something that drives me nuts, but that's totally aside. Uh, be aware that you know you are filling up the phone's memory, but I do actually prefer having the photos when I have you right dir saved directly on my phone because from there, if I want, I can upload it directly from my own cloud. But it does have a card slot for local saving, the local recording, and and you know, of course you can always just pop it out and uh, put it in your uh, SD card reader or something and work with it from there. But there's that. Uh, actual app. Let's go ahead and um, actually, I don't think I have it sitting on my home screen. So, Cop Pro, C O T Pro. Now, I have actually looked at this particular app in the past, and I, they've done some. They've done some uh, major updates since I last used this software. Uh, it's actually <laughs> really nicely done. There it is. We'll put. Go ahead and tap into it. And right now, it does have two way. In fact, it, what it's doing is relaying my voice through my phone, through the little speakers in there. Uh, let's go ahead and mute that right there. Boom, we'll mute that. So there is two ways. A little quiet, and I'm not sure if I could actually. Oh, I might be able to. Let's see here. And is that any better? Oh yeah, I guess. It's a little, still a little bit quiet. Uh, but let's go ahead and hit the mute there. So it's, I wouldn't call this a, yeah, it's a little bit, it's not, doesn't seem to get that much louder, but it does have two-way, and you can get full screen here. Just hit that little button, 
and it will go full screen for landscape. Now, you can remote pan and tilt. See that? It's not very fast response, so you're not going to be zooming all around. It does actually take a little time to really get anywhere. But there's your options there, recording, picture, uh, 09 yards. Now, you'll, if you have a Samsung S6, you're going to see this little rather irritating floaty button here. That has nothing to do with the app. That is a long time ever since S6 was released and uh, S6 Edge. It's just a bug with the S6. It just sits there and does nothing uh, except get in the way. So that has nothing to do with the app. It's just a weird bug with the S6. So if you've got that, just get it out of the way. And night vision. It is, as they say, excellent. It goes into black and white mode, but the resolution is phenomenal. I'm going to go ahead and turn off these lighting here. So, all right, so we still got enough light for color, and that's because I got that overhead light. So, we'll go ahead and reach over here and turn that off. So, all I got left now is a bit of monitor glow, but as you can see, now my own camcorder has the lighting compensation, so it's actually on video looks a little bit brighter than it actually is to a human eye. It's actually kind of dark right now, and boom. As you can see on that the tin metal sign, uh, it, the, the lighting, the IR lighting, does reflect and kind of kill the details of it. Uh, but that, you know, that's to be expected, but I want to highlight on reflective surfaces, it does wash out any kind of details. But on non-reflective surfaces, dude, that's phenomenal night lighting. I have to say, after all this time evaluating security cameras or anything with infrared or night compensation lighting, this is hands down the best. I'm not kidding. This, they really, it's truth in advertising finally. This truly is absolutely phenomenal night lighting. That is excellent. I am highly impressed. And as one little neat thing, well, well first it does show you the frame rate at the top there but number of viewers one I, I like that it actually tells you so if you ever see that pop up one number than it should <laughs> you know something is going on uh, I, I just I like that so all in all I think this is like it's it's easy uh, I don't have to deal with power over Ethernet wonkiness or weird software the it, although the pan is kind of slow it does work remotely the night vision is phenomenal. It is simple setup, other other than just you know the very fact that don't plug it in until you're actually ready to connect it up via your home Wi-Fi. <laughs> it's simple as that. But yeah, I'm I'm impressed. I am very very impressed. So there you have it. You guys have yourself a great one.